And some of you have allowed adversity to make you stop. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. I invested too much to quit. I made too many sacrifices to give up. We've come too far. We've been through too much. We've seen too much. We've had too many victories. We have seen defeat. We've looked defeat in the face and we've overcome it. We've come too far to give up now. We've come too far to be negative now. We've come too far to start overthinking now. So when life happens, I don't just sit there and cry. I, I buck back. I buck back. And the process is not supposed to be comfortable. So if it hurts, welcome to the big leagues. If you feel like you're under heat, praise God. If you feel like you're being pressured, praise God. But when God looks like he's pulling you back, eventually he's going to let you go. And the farther he pulls you back, the farther he pulls you back, once he releases you, boom. The spirit of resiliency, the spirit of grit, it's in your DNA, it's in your blood. Overcoming is in your blood. Getting through adversity is in your blood. Your ancestors got through so much more. We will be all right. We need to focus on where we're going, not where we come from and what's happening. I just need you to keep walking toward it. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I don't know if this going to work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. I just need you to keep going. You got to tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You got to tell bankruptcy. You got to tell divorce. You got to tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you.